today we have got very important topic how to calculate the power of iol the process of calculating iol power is called biometry it requires first the confirmation of cataract on slit lamp like here you can appreciate the dense white cataract keratometry and a scan you can see a white mature cataract here and now on automated keratometer align the patient's chin and forehead and tell him to look straight in the machine we have to align the Myers silk circle in the center and take a reading and here we are trying to take a reading now we have R1 7.59 R2 7.41 and also in diopters 44.5 and 45.5 with minus 1 astigmatism at 90 degree so that's our k readings k1 and 2 and now make the patient comfortably sit near a scan put a drop of anesthetic in the eye ask the patient to close the eye for a few seconds switch on the a scan i have got this uh, Sonomed uh, A scan uh, nowadays, uh, digital A scans with laptop are available. Uh, this one doesn't require laptop and it is easy to use. Now open the A scan head uh, above uh, and take out pen. Now click the A scan here which is written you can see the last patient name Habib and ID and K readings now go to the right and up and click uh, new patient write uh, this patient name patient name is Selbano S E L B A N O then enter enter first enter and now id put id uh, say like uh, 22 again enter and then click od for the right eye as our patient had right cataract now again click k1 and put 44.50 click enter now click K2 enter 45.50 enter click done right up and now click Meyer then come bottom right and click scan when you click scan spike will come in this machine we take five readings some machines take 10 readings now when you click scan take the a scan probe look it's red the color is showing ask the patient to look that red color so that when you gently touch the cornea you take the reading with foveal fixation you can take manual readings as well as in auto mode i have switched on the auto mode so probe have recorded five readings don't press the probe too hard and if patient is looking away incorrect readings are taken now look at the readings 22.29 22.22 22.25 22.07 .22 and 22.6 with average 22.20 and as standard deviation is 0 0.09 which is fine if standard deviation is more than 0 0.1 then delete the reading which is most different and record another
Interior chamber depth is 2.46 and lens is 3.74 mm thick. Also, if your patient has a very thick cataract, uh, then click cataract uh, and you will have the options of a cataract, uh, dense cataract, uh, aphakic mode um, and pseudophakic mode. So click dense cataract and then do the readings, take the readings. So now click the mini menu and then IOL calculations menu IOL calculations and now you have got the final window with axial length 22.2 uh, millimeter a constant you have got two readings one with a constant uh, 118.30 and other uh, with a constant 118 and IOL number with 118.30 is 22.50 diopter sphere with residual minus 0.15 diopter myopia and 22 diopter with 118 a constant because some IOLs come with the 118 a constant some comes with 118.3 and even some comes with 118.7 so whatever the a constant of the IOL you should put and you can get the reading I hope after watching this video you will be able to calculate IOL